what is going on at gamers today we're just going to be talking about architecture and like skyscrapers and different buildings and things like that just because you know it's been something i've wanted to talk about on the channel for quite a while uh the video is probably not going to do good it's probably going to do shit uh but i don't know i just wanted to do a video on it for a long time and i never made one so i want to jump into today's video and just you know talk about my favorite structures uh we might do multiple videos depending on uh if anybody even is interested in it but uh i think we're mainly just going to stick with american uh infrastructure and architecture today just because you know i live in america and you know there's a lot of interesting structures here because america you know kind of led the way in the skyscraper boom of the early 19th or not the 19th, the 20th century. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of old structures on the East Coast. Not so much on the West Coast, but uh, there's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, older buildings on the East Coast. Some of them were pre-American uh, independence, and some of them uh, are, you know, post-independence. Uh, but there's just a lot of cool architecture in general to talk about. Most of which is just in the big cities, but uh, let's just jump into it. So when you think of architecture in the United States in terms of buildings, uh, one of the first buildings that comes to mind is probably uh, the Empire State Building in New York City. Uh, they have cool lights that light up on the top of the building, uh, which is a newer feature, but the building is kind of an art deco type style. Uh, I think there's a meme that there's like 101 floors, something like that. I'd have to look it up. But uh, I know there's a lot of floors in the Empire State Building. Uh, and it has a fairly slow elevator from what I've heard. I don't know how fast it is. They might have updated it. It says there's 102 floors in the Empire State Building. Which is just crazy to think about. It'd be really cool to... Uh, visit New York and uh, go to the top of that tower just to kind of see the overlaying city. I've never been in the tower. I can probably put some views of the, v the observation deck uh, in the editing of this video, but uh, just the overall, I like the view of the tower as well. You get a really good view of it from New York City. Uh, just the skyline. The skyline is more or less defined by the Empire State Building as it's always kind of been that one big popular tower through all forms of media. It was in King Kong, for goodness sakes. Uh, and I think it's been in many other movies as well. Now, uh, what I would rate the Empire State Building in terms of the building scale, I don't want to give it a 10, just because there's a lot of other buildings I like more than it. But uh, if I'm just going based purely off of the design of the building, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it an 8.5 uh, out of 10. The reason it, it would be higher, but it copies a lot of other buildings from the time period. A lot of buildings wanted spires. Empire State Building has a spire. And it looks very similar to the, uh, the Woolworth Building, which was another uh, very tall building during the time. Uh, it looks very similar to that uh, building. And Woolworth is a cool looking building. It was also once one of the tallest buildings. I mean, no, it was the tallest building in the world, but I, it's not the greatest building. I wouldn't say it's a, a masterpiece by any, any means whatsoever, but it's definitely a cool structure. I'd give the Woolworth building a seven out of 10. It's all right. Another big prominent architecture piece in New York City is the One World Trade Center. Uh, which I have, I, I love this building just because they put a lot of detail into it. Uh, the building cost four million dollars, or no, four billion dollars to build. I think it was four billion. I'd have to look it up. Uh, and it's also seventeen hundred and seventy-six feet tall, which I think is cool because they set it up like that because uh, the United States of America was founded in 1776 and i think it's also cool that the parallel i don't know if it was intentional or not but uh the structure costs four billion dollars to make 
And it just so happens July 4th is <laughs> Independence Day. So it's just a really interesting way to look at the structure. Uh, and overall, it's just a, a modern masterpiece. I like the, the simple design to it. All the windows makes it look, look really cool. Uh, something I think a lot of people were worried about when the structure was being built was it was going to look a lot too uh, Middle Eastern or Asian because a lot of those Middle East and Asia, Asian countries have glass looking towers and you know this building it it looks similar to a lot of those buildings but it definitely has an American style to it and I think overall this structure is just you know, it's one of those structures that just really pops and makes the skyline look a lot better. So I definitely think this is probably one of the greatest buildings we have in the country. I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. It's a little bit better than Empire State Building. Just for the symbolism and the the cool 1776 Easter egg uh, they built into it while building it. But what is my favorite structure in New York City? Uh, it is none other than the Chrysler building. I like the look of it. I don't know why. I just love the Chrysler, Chrysler building uh, layout. I just love the roof. The roof is fucking awesome. I don't know who designed it. I need to look up who designed the Chrysler building roof. It says Reinhard Hoffmeister was the one who designed it. Uh, I don't know who that is, but... I mean, I just love the design of the building. The roof is awesome. And, you know, it's just such an iconic structure. Uh, it's just beautiful. And I give it a 10 out of 10. Just because it, it also it was once the tallest building in the world as well. But I just love the, 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 the roof of the building with the spire. It's one of the, the coolest designed spires. Debatably the best spire uh, in the world. And I think it also has like these little eagle gargoyle looking things hanging off the side of it, which is just kind of a cool touch. Uh, and yeah, I just, I've always liked the building. I like the design. And yeah, I'm on another architectural uh, masterpiece in New York called the Hudson Yards. I like some of the aspects of it, but I wouldn't say I, I love the towers necessarily. I mean, they look cool, but uh, I don't know. It's just really not my cup of tea. It looks foreign. I think it'll look good once it's built like up entirely, but the buildings don't really give me an American vibe. They really start to give me more of a, I don't know, maybe an Asian vibe or something like that. And they got this weird looking, you know, staircase looking thing. It's just kind of wonky. It's just kind of out there. And quite frankly, guys, I don't like that kind of art uh, or architecture. I don't like stuff that's just quir quir quirky. Uh, or, yeah, quirky to just be quirky. Wow, I'm so cool. I have some weird looking architecture. Uh, nothing about it looks cool to me when it comes to the staircase. I guess some of the towers look all right. But again, it's just really, it's not my cup of tea. I don't like the design of it. Uh, as much of other towers in the city. But I think it'll probably turn out alright. Well, we've talked enough about New York now. Let's move on to Chicago. Because Chicago, Chicago has a lot of very tall buildings that are also cool to look at. So, let's talk about some of those buildings. The first building that everybody knows in Chicago is Sears Tower, Willis Tower, whatever you want to call it. It used to be the tallest tower in America. And I, st I, st I still think it holds up as a really beautiful tower. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Chrysler building, but uh, I've always liked the Sears Tower uh, just a lot in general. I like how it's black. Uh, not a lot of towers are black. Uh, and I just think it really, you know, it's different. It's really, a, it's a different tower. Uh, it's a really bold tower too. When you look at it, it kind of defines the... Chicago skyline even if Chicago you know isn't the best city but I still think it's a really interesting looking tower and you know it's kind of cool how they have the two different little spire radio tower type things on it I wouldn't say it defines the entire building but that's one of the things I always remember about the building is just how it has two different spires and not just one 
which I've always thought was kind of cool. I think some other buildings in Chicago uh, have similar designs to that, but uh, it's still a, just a cool looking tower and it's cool that it's a black tower. Not a lot of towers are really painted black. They're, they're usually just glass towers nowadays, but it's kind of cool to see just kind of a different colored tower. We've talked about most of the main buildings in America. I think there's also some cool towers in San Francisco. I'd have to look it up. I know that the uh, San Francisco Courthouse, I think it is, uh, it's really badass looking. It's kind of like the Capitol building, but uh, it's on the other coast. What all skyscrapers they got in San Francisco? I know they built a brand new one uh, that's super tall. Yeah, Salesforce Tower. I want to see what that looks like. I know when I saw the original design of it, it looked really cool. I kind of like the look of Salesforce Tower. It's kind of simple, but it's not its not crazy. And, you know, the Chinese-Asian vibe can work in this city. Because they already have Golden Gate Bridge, which looks like it's straight out of Japan. So, uh, that kind of vibe actually does work for San Francisco. And, you know, they could they can pull off more buildings like that, I think. It'd be cool to see in the future years if uh, San Francisco goes in a skyscraper boom like New York City did. I think it's definitely possible with how big that city's getting, but we'd, we'd probably have to wait and find out. I'm not sure if it's a big enough city to expand uh, as much as, as New York, but we'd have to wait and see. The number one building though on the west coast is the Seattle Space Needle though. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's fucking quirky. And I know I said I don't like quirky shit, but it's badass, and it looks like a building, so I give it a 10 out of 10. It's futuristic, and it's just it's just badass looking. So I give the Space Needle a 10 out of 10. You can hate it all you want, but I think it's a cool looking building, and it really does define that city's skyline. I don't think Seattle would even be a remembered, like, main point city if it wasn't for that needle. And you know the needle's badass, so it's futuristic. It looks like something out of the Jetsons. Uh, and yeah, I've always liked it. I know Houston has also been building some big fucking buildings uh, lately. I don't remember what all they're, they're called, but I have to look it up. I heard something that they were building some really big ones. Uh, they got JP Morgan Chase Tower. What does that look like? I don't think I've seen that one. Is it a newer one or is it older? I think it might be a little bit older. Yeah, it was built in uh, 1981. It is an older building, but it's fucking tall. I wouldn't say it's a good designed building. I know they're building bigger ones. That's what I've heard. Uh, there's a lot of rumors that Houston's going to be building a lot more uh, skyscrapers in the future that are even taller than this one, but I I wouldn't say I like JP Morgan Tower. It doesn't really look like anything special. It's just kind of a, a tower. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing special. It'd be cool to see if they uh, uh, their future buildings, what they would do with them. I want to see Texas kind of, I don't know, branch out and kind of find its own style. Texas structures have always kind of been pretty bland for the most part. I really want to see them kind of branch out. Maybe they could pull a Chicago with some cool towers. I don't know. Something different. I want to see some better towers in Texas because they really don't got too many uh, interesting architecture down there. Uh, it'd be cool to see what they do though. But uh, yeah, tell me your favorite buildings in the comments, scammers. And I might make a part two. Uh, I want to talk about buildings within my own city, perhaps. That might be a little bit too much information, or maybe it's a little too personal. I don't know if I should do it or not, but uh, yeah, overall gamers, I'll see you all for the next one, and peace.